Hi everyone, now few days remaining into the NEET PG. We all are prepared well, but it's very important also to understand how to attempt a paper. This video will guide you throughout the process of attending the paper. I'll start before the day of the exam, on the day of the exam and during the exam. So watch the video carefully, a very short video and fixed video to tell you what exactly you should do to get the best result for the upcoming days. Let's start from the day before the exam. Tiko, we all be, have been saying that a proper sleep is very important. Today and tomorrow, you have to have a proper sleep, but don't overexert yourself for sleeping. One of the way to have a proper sleep is just rid of get off your mobile phones after 10 p.m. in the night. Because once you are, you know, sleepy, you again look into the mobile phone and what happens, your sleep actually doesn't appear. And it makes you more anxious. So I'm not able to sleep well. What will happen on the day of exam? So I don't remember anything. What will happen? I have read the notes, but I don't remember a thing out of it. When I solve a question, the questions are going wrong. My GT marks are not so good. And all those thoughts coming into the mind. You go to the social media, look into the other posts, and that becomes a vicious cycle. It makes you more anxious. You look into more and more messages. You again become more and more anxious. And that what? Put sleeps, sleep away from you. So ensure you have a proper sleep just by getting rid of your mobile phone after 10 p.m. in the night. That's basic video that I'm making today in the morning only. Second. Ensure you know the center. You know what happened in my SRship exam was there was a, my SRship exam was in knowledge part two. And I didn't have that knowledge. There's knowledge part one, two, and three. I reached knowledge part three. But what happened? I had that extra amount of 15 minutes. I can rush from knowledge part three to two and believe me, get annoyed. This huge center, huge areas, and to travel from one place to other, you need to have a proper mode of transportation. I didn't have my car, nothing. So I had a really very horrific time, but I somehow reached the center on time. But that's why my SR ship exam, this is your neat page exam, it's a way different from both of them. To so make sure you know your center well, and if your center is in a different city, you please reach the center before the day of the exam. Do not get panicked on the day of the exam. Never, never do this. Okay, coming to the morning before the main exam about diet. It's very important to eat proper food. It should be rich in glycemic. That means it should have good amount of glucose. It'll really run throughout that exam. And if you are, you know, very hungry, just take an extra chapati or roti and take it to the center. Just eat it there and throw that everything waste in the waste bucket. And but do not uh, try to take chips and all those in your uh, schedule of day the day before that you uh, appear the exam. A proper sweet is very important. You know, when we were small kids, our mother always used to give us sweets before the main exam, a dahi or something, because it really helps you to get that extra amount of glucose, the ATP starts running, and your mind really starts working on the question that you actually have thought you will never make correct, and that becomes right in the main exam also. So proper diet with a high amount of glucose is really very important in on the day of exam. Do not go empty stomach. That's one thing I really advise you against it, okay? Now in the exam, so how would I give an exam? I made a proper theory for you. You can take a snapshot for this also if you want to. Tuko, for the giving for the exam, what you must understand is, Tuko, any exam is not only about knowing the answers. It's all about knowing what you can do correct there in the way of approaching the ex every question in its proper time. So if I would be giving a neat PG, I would dividing the entire three and a half hours to two and a half hours for 200 questions. So I'll divide this entire thing into a uh, two and a half hours, then 20 minutes, 30 minutes and 10 minute duration. So in the two and a half hours, I have to look into 200 questions. But what my estimate looking at the last three to four years of NEET PG is 130 will be a slightly easy to moderate type of question, which is quite easy for you. 50 will be those which are very tricky. This T is tricky and you will have to mark this for review and 20 are very, very lengthy question, which I will suggest you not to even waste time reading that in the first time of two and a half hours, you're going to that. But that will be around 20 questions only, not more than that. And that's this lengthy question means anything which is above say seven line is actually a lengthy question. Okay. Now, so if you moved into 130 questions, doing in two and a half hours, you actually are getting one and a half, 1.2 minutes for every question. That means you have a good amount of time. And what will happen here is this tricky question will take more amount of time compared to those questions, which is very, very straight line or a single or two line question. So this will take more amount of time. So this will not be an average time. It's just an average time. It's not an individual time for every question because this would take just 20, 30 seconds, but this would take over one and a half minutes. So that's okay. But this question I would read, not read even in the first attempt of reading the questions. In the next 20 minutes, this question, which I have not even marked, I'll read this question in the next 20 minutes. So one minute for a one minute, one every question. Okay, one minute for every question. It's a 20 long question, 20 minutes is what my approach would be. And that would be helping me to read every 200 questions in around two 
hours and then we have two and a half hours plus 20 minutes of time. I still have 40 minutes remaining with this. So I have marked 50 question for review. Okay, that is my user estimate. It can go up and down. That's okay. This 50 question will remove in the next 30 minutes. Okay, any question which is marked for review need PG is taken into consideration. So do not mark a question for review if you don't want, want that to be taken into the main uh, calculation. So I will be looking into this 50 question which are marked for review in the next 30 minutes. And the last 10 minutes I will make for revisiting the question of all the 200 questions again. Now my question is, sir, what I've seen in my GT is when I look in the two options, I mark one of the option and then I change the answer. The change answer looks wrong. Why? That is an art of solving MCQs. Let me just tell you a few other things here. It's all about instinct. At this point of time, you must all, all actually trust your instincts. What is instinct? Any question that you have read ever before, the first thing that comes to your mind comes to you from your subconscious mind. So our mind is a beautiful thing, right? And any question that you have read somewhere before, that comes from your subconscious mind. So I would go with my first instinct that has come to my mind when I saw that particular question there. But a rough guess, complete rough guess, rough guess, usually the first attempt is not very right. When you change the answer, that becomes more and more correct. Because when you change the answer, you may are making an intelligent guess there. So instinct is different from guessing an answer. Guessing is for those which have never heard ever before. But instinct is that which you have seen before but is not coming into your mind while you're looking at the questions. So they're two different things. And so instinct, Kelly, I'll go with the first thing that comes to mind. For guessing, I will definitely change my answer. But that's my perspective. I think you should take care of that. Now, about how to solve the image-based questions, how to solve the long questions in my exam. For the image-based questions, first look at the options. You have an idea as to what the image is trying to tell you. After looking at the options, look at the image and then look at the question. It really save a lot of time and maybe you can get a right answer even by looking at the image, not even looking at the above question. For a very long question, which is above five to seven lines, best is to look at the option, read the last line and see because what happens, many times there's a long clinical history, but the last line is a factual stuff. A long history asking you what is the most common cause of acute cholecystitis, stones. That is a question that is often I've seen in the NEAT PG. So read the last line and the option, most likely you'll be correct. Okay, so I told you about instincts and guesses. Now, what is the number of attempts you should do? I would say nothing less than 190. So 190 plus attempt is a good guess and good attempt to get a good rank in NEAT PG. Okay, but suppose you are being very conservative in your attempts. You can attempt 180 to 185, but be less than 180, you're not even in the race. So try to attend more. Plus four, minus one. I have that positive thought, I'll try to get this one and not worry about this one. Getting a positive correct, positive more will actually dilute it, dilute the negative facts by just 75%. So ensure you focus on this thing without getting worried about minus one here. So attempts should be around 190 to get a proper uh, result in the NEAT PG exam. Now, guys, we all have read for a long, long time right now. Have that confidence. It is all about you and the exam. This exam is not a life and death. It's just an exam to achieve what we all try to get in the next phase of picking a seat of our choice. Just take it as an exam only. Enjoy this exam. It's very difficult for me to say this. I know it's very difficult for you to also consume this fact, but please enjoy the entire process of the exam. Do not get over feared. Do not have panicked episodes while looking at the questions. Suppose seven questions you see in a row, which you have no answer. You don't know any fact. Do not worry. It's just a bad luck that has happened. That seven question has come to you. But every 193 question, I'm very sure you'll do in a better way. So every question should be seen in a proper proper episodes only and when you look at the next question forget what has happened in the previous question at all okay so this confidence will bring you to the fact that you will be achieving the result that you always wanted i am with you the entire faculty set are with you please ensure that you have that confidence on yourself because i and we have complete faith in you wishing you all the best comment in the box below what else you want but will only meet after the exams telling you what else you can do to achieve the best result ever you have ever thought of. Take care. God bless you all. And yes, best wishes from my side for the NEAT PG 2023. Goodbye.